안녕하세요 여러분. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at some interesting points. This picture is the hint. Can you guess what we're going to learn? We're going to talk about right. First, let's look at the English. As you can guess, when we say right-handed person, the right side, right? Right and left, right side. And between right and wrong, to be right. Let's look at Korean. First, right-handed, in Korean, we say 오른. 오른 means the direction to the right. 손잡이. 손 means hand. Right-handed person we call 오른 손잡이. You want to know what left-handed person? Left. When sonjabi. When sonjabi. Quickly. When sonjabi. When sonjabi. How about to be right in Korean? Ulta. Ulta. To be right, it's a descriptive verb in Korean. All Korean verbs end with ta. Ulta. Here's the important sound rule. When hit meets with tigut, tigut sounds become explosive. So d, d becomes t, or ta. To conjugate, we remove ta, and this is the verb stem, and we add un for the descriptive verb to be able to modify the following noun or pronoun. 오른. And here's one more sound rule. When he meets uh, 이응, the circle looking 이응, he becomes 이응. So assimilation, you can see it as assimilation. So 오른, the 흐 sound disappeared. 오른. Do you remember what we uh, called to the right side? That's right, 오른손. So the sound is same. Isn't that interesting? In English, the right side and then to be right has same word, right, right, right. In Korean, it doesn't look like it because 오른 Spelling is different from 옳다, but when you say it, I think they came from the same word. 오른손, right hand. 오른, something. 오른, 사람. 오른, 법. So it, this uh, sound is exactly same. Isn't that interesting? So that was uh, all for this video. Happy learning! I'm just kidding. Here's one more screen. Right to the right. Right to be right. 오른 to the right. 오른 to be right.